Okay, so to go and see the uh, check-in responses, you go to any of the check-ins, you select it, and then you click on the Google form here. It will bounce you into the Google form. It'll say who you're logged in as right here. And then you should have over on this right bottom corner, this little pencil icon. And if you click on that, it will bring you to the back end of the form. And as you can see, the back end of the form has the questions, responses, and settings. The responses tell you how many students have filled out this form. And so my guess is that you're using this form through several questions uh, or through several of the check-ins throughout the semester. Uh, but I saw another one that was 51. So this might be where you're finding some of the differences. When you click on that, it will give you high level information. You can scroll down and there are charts and the like, and you can look at all of that. Um, you can see, you know, a lot of interesting information. I'm not going to scroll down so that we don't see anybody's personal information. And if you want it in that spreadsheet, as I had shared with you, then you click on this button and it will put it into a Google spreadsheet for you to be able to scroll down and look across. So that is the basic uh, makeup of how to do this. It's, it should be pretty simple. Once you're in, uh, once you are in classes, you go to wherever the checkout check-in is and you click on the Google form to get into it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Awesome. Thanks.